hello everyone welcome back to Nkoteka tutorial video today this is what we want to draw the question says draw a j and pinion engagement in engagement with pressure angle 20 degrees showing all teeth and each with the given data below number of gs are two which is the j and the pinion okay so the number of tth is 24 module 5 number of tth is 12 module 5 so calculate the pitch circle diameter here 24 times 5 which is 120 so start by drawing a circle with what center diameter so 120 units okay now with this we have pcd so we we'll look for the other number circle diameter which is what p circle diameter 120 plus 2 times 5 130 right because m is equal to addendum so the addendum circle diameter will be by adding 5 that is uh, twice the addendum to the p circle diameter I'll show you what I'm trying to talk about here. So 130 units. Look, this from this position, which is pitch circle diameter, to this position, and then circle diameter, we have five. That is the distance between here is five. So the distance between the below is also five. That's why we're adding two times of that five to the P circle diameter. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is to draw the dedendum circle diameter. The dedendum circle diameter will need the clearance. Clearance is always what? Um, 0 0.25 times the module. And the module here is 5. So 0 0.25 times 5 is 1.25. Okay? So now, 1.25 plus the addendum, which is 5, will give us the dedendum. So 6.25 is the dedendum. Now, 6.25 times 2. 12.5 now pcd which is 120 minus 12.5 107.5 that is the dedendum circle diameter okay now that we have this we will um, then draw the base circle but before then let's draw this construction lines to help ourselves so we are going to draw the base circle but where is the base circle located if you watch the first video we made on this um we have shown clearly how to do everything so here if you want to get your pressure angle you just have to draw 20 degrees away from this place and also the intersection of the two pressure angles the one you draw from this place tangential to this circle like this uh let me just draw a tangent line here first is a tangential line if we should draw a line from this place like this 20 degrees here is 90 plus 20 110 so let's say 70 shift less than 110 that is 20 degrees we'll draw another one like this 20 degrees in tangential which, um, which will be aligned or inclined to this um, tangential line like this 20 degrees so here is 180 like this will be 200 so okay now you know what i did there i wrote 70 then i held i held the shift on my keyboard and pressed less than to switch to the angle okay so this intersection point is the center sorry is the from this place to that place will be the radius of the base circle i want you to observe the fact that between this place and this place will have 90 degrees okay because this line is called normal right this line is called tangent but this line will actually be tangent to the circle i'm about to draw and that circle will be called the base circle and the big circle the base circle is the circle we use to cut the uh axe of all the teeth we are going to need and in this case we'll just draw one teeth and then we'll move on okay now we know that there will be 24 teeth on this J. so 360 degrees angle in a circle divided by 24 which is 15 degrees each teeth will what accommodate in 15 degrees the teeth will be accommodating 15 what degrees and that is some um, actually the circular uh, pitch CP so from here like this 15 degrees 90 already 105 right 
so i'm going to use 70 again shift less than 105 degrees that will give me 15 degrees right there and half of it is um 7.5 so 7.5 added to 90 90 i'm going to draw 70 again shift less than 97.5 okay what i'm trying to do here is between this line and this line there will have i will have 7.5 also between this line and this line i'll have 7.5 and one teeth is going to accommodate this position and for it to accommodate this position there will be a spacing for meshing of another j you know js have spacings on each chip after each j after each j teeth if a teeth is here there will be a space another teeth another space another teeth another space why so that another j can mesh with it and then move uh, as the other gear is moving in parallel position you know you place a shaft right at the center and another shaft on another gear and then they will mesh with each other right i think you understand what i'm saying so we're going to just mirror this line to the opposite direction so we don't have to be drawing another line at angle so i'm going to just select mirror to this position now that we have this we can cut our arc very simple right so select center radius see our arc will start from here and end somewhere here the well, the upper tooth arc okay the lower tooth arc is already drawn which is this straight line okay this straight line going to the center so we are going to where will be the center i told you the center will be on this base circle this base circle this base circle so locate 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 now this is the center you will draw your arc with this to the pitch point okay to the pitch point now you draw another one here will be the center to the opposite pitch point now look at the teeth here trimming for you to understand what i'm doing you see that you see this come on okay this should be gone this should be gone now this should be gone including that and all this okay all this as for every other thing it can be deleted manually except the dendrum circle diameter remember okay now we're almost done so we have we have this profile this is one of the teeth so we are going to make a pattern of 24 piece you will get what i'm saying 24 now do you see the spacing i was talking about is right here it's for meshing of another gear okay we're going to just simply trim these internal dimensions So before we can fill it, we are going to make a fillet on these edges, these edges. But before we can do that, we have to explode and then disallow the polar array. So everyone is on every single dimension is on its own now. So it's select fillet radius 1.25. Who can tell why am I using 1.25? 1.25 is the clearance distance, right? Mm -hmm. therefore between this place and this place we have a fillet of 1.25 right so i'm going to simply take this okay let me just draw the second one right here uh in order not to be too stressed because for me to be selecting two two like this it will be too stressful i would rather select this and make a pattern including this make k pattern 24 pieces 24 
and then you can see what we have the color we have they will be simple to they, are, they can be simply erased look instead of selecting and then making a pattern but you still have to be very careful if you want to select to make fillet to be too hard but this make it too simple and it uh, makes it faster for us look at what I'm doing look ok almost through still going That's all right. We're done with this profile, so we're going to select everything and join them, turn them into polyline. But um, before we can do that, we have to do an explosion of these two lines. I think, yes, we're done. So let's join again. yes now we have the first profile for the gear now from here we will start with the second gear which is the pinion so we're going to draw it by the side here or by the side anywhere you wish you can draw up down left or right but I would prefer to just draw it here where we can be seeing uh, everything clearly so I'm just going to draw my construction line back again right from the center with the horizontal and vertical and um, you know for two gears to mesh with each other their pitch circle diameter must be touching each other you understand so look at this I mean the circumferences of both the J and the pinion will be touching each other which circumference particularly it will be the PCD pitch circle diameter now looking at this we already have the calculations for the pinion we have used this in the our previous design and um, now this one we have 60 millimeters as our p circle diameter meaning the radius will be 30 right so i'm going to offset this you know from here to the p circle diameter was um 120 so we will offset by 60 for to locate that point and then we'll you know that will give us the pitch point right here so we will offset this by 30 for the center of the pinion now we can draw a circle here diameter 60 that will be the p circle diameter now i want you to see something that if i draw a circle of diameter 120 right now it will be touching this pinion okay look at the pcd touching each other this is what i meant and in this case we're going to have a perfect design although this is still called an approximate method because um, to draw a gear it requires a lot of calculation uh, okay now from here we will draw our pressure angle 20 degrees before we move on so 
from here 20 degrees down if here is already 180 that would be 200 I said 70 unit shift less than 200 okay now we're going to draw another one right here from the common tangent this is the common tangent on the pitch point we're going to draw another one 20 degrees away from this place you know this is already 270 if you are measuring like this in autocad you always measure like this from the first quadrant 90 180 270 plus 20 290 so i can say 70 shift less than 290 degrees you can see that clearly so that would be our pitch so, uh, sorry the uh base circle but first let's draw our addendum circle diameter 70 the addendum circle diameter 47.5 you can check the calculation right here addendum circle diameter 70 the addendum circle diameter 47.5 so 70 is that okay the addendum circle diameter 47.5 okay now we can draw our base circle here so the radius will be sorry you have to select center radius right from that place to the point of intersection of the uh, pressure angles one two should be gone now we have to determine where uh, how many fittings or how many degrees will it hit one of the teeth you know we have um, about 12 teeth on the pinion so a tooth will take um about one twelfth of 360 degrees so and one twelfth of 360 degrees will be 30 degrees because 360 divided by 12 is 30 therefore we're going to draw an angle 30 degrees along this side this is already 90 180 180 plus 30 that will be 210 right therefore 70 you need to shift less than 210 degrees that is 30 degrees so we're going to half this angle into 15 15 okay you know i told you want it will fit here but it will be the teeth and the spacing for the machine of the second gear therefore the line we're going to take a line draw from here this is already 180 again plus 15 that will be 195 degrees so this is 70 shift less than 195 okay now we'll take this line and mirror to the opposite side like that now we, we have the centers for our x so from here this is the base circle this will be the center straight to the pitch point remember this is the pitch circle look at my cross line pitch circle pitch circle to the pitch point right here okay you are leaving a line in between to the pitch point then release let's quickly trim to avoid problem we are trimming this place and this place only then delete this and you have this trim this extension draw the second one from this position this will serve as the center leave this line and move to the second pitch point here trim this and this remember this is just a common tangent so you can delete that if it's confusing you this should be gone now you can literally trim everything here like this okay so this should be gone these three circles the base circle Pitch circle and then dump circle diameter. Now 
we'll trim this and this so we have our profile here this is the profile one two three four five so we are going to make a pattern of that profile into 12 pieces so polar array right through the center 12 and then close that array you can see the good is already forming you can just trim those axes right here so why now and that is okay um the next thing now is to make our fillet of radius 1.25 is still intact multiple or uh, we could just make one as we've done before but before we can actually fill it we have to explode this so after the explosion i want to select fillet multiple this and this now we will take this this and make a polar pattern or polar array again right through the center 12 units yes and we are going to now trim every right angle right there are they even right angle to each other i don't know because one is radial and the other one is straight so they are not right angle we can have well we need it we'll draw it back later now look at this i'll just simply do delete this one so we have a complete profile now but um what's left is to explode this so that every everything will be on their own simply i would love to join it now it's all joined except for this okay now everything is joined there and also everything is joined here so the next thing now is um i'm going to put our key right on it so let's just make a key pattern okay first what is this first i'm going to draw construction line again to pass through both of the centers you can see so i can make another one here for my own good vertical then i'm just going to make simple circle say 15 units another circle say 8 units and i'm going to offset this by two units from this place to the right and from that center again to the left and from this place by 11 to have a key you know this would be the circle or the a hole for shaft that's why it's very important for locking and the um, rigid movement
okay that is okay you can join that now this becomes a single design now we'll make a second one here um we'll draw our circle first uh this one will have to be much lesser maybe we can use 10 units and the second one five units okay now we will offset this by one unit and um, we forgot to put the horizontal dimension line okay we are going to offset this up by if the rate to this place is 5 maybe by 7 okay trim that this okay almost done so now we have this we are almost through with our design so from here we are going to make up solid um, designs we are going to turn it to 3d so we are going to press pull our designs now uh, by 50 units simply type press pull select this can you see that and then move it up by 50 units then the same thing for this place by 50 units mm -hmm. now let's see what we've done okay look at this this has been left as a hole actually this is the only hole that will be required so we're going to make press put this particular dimension here and this dimension here leaving this hole out so let's put it back in wireframe well we can decide to we are going to press pull this down by 10 and up by 60 because i want it to have um it to be like a shaft or yes let's do that press pull from by 60 same thing here by 60 then we'll look back down here by 10 okay same thing here let's check yes by 10 so we're almost done now we're actually done we just have to put some colors to make it beautiful okay so i went to union solid union this this okay now that is a solid single j one two three enter now this on its own and this also on its own you can see we have a perfect gearing system so a gear drive is already and this is actually a sport gear right okay we're going to replicate this on helical so just stay tuned and come back to watch more of our videos okay so we're going to make this green and make this Red. now look at this perfect right so that's all for this gear design thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel 
and um, invite your friends to this channel we'll be bringing you beautiful designs often okay just look at this oh. you can see all right subscribe don't forget to subscribe see you in our next video guys